Okay, YouTube, so today we're going to install this old relic, um, Backtrack 2, because I'll be working on it. That's the concentration I'm in right now. Uh, from one of the one of my subscribers I don't know if he's a subscriber anyways who cares uh, he asked a question about installing um, Debian files and today I'm gonna try to mess with that but first I'm gonna show you how to install backtrack to final so first we got to go download it so we go to distrio watch and then we're gonna click on that link right there the first one which is should be distriowatch.com we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down on this side, on the far right side. Scroll, scroll, scroll till we get to 33, we should see backtrack. And then we're going to scroll down just a little bit. And then it says more news about backtrack. And then we're going to scroll down till we see backtrack 2. Okay, there it is right there. Distribution release backtrack 2. We're going to click on the ISO. You can use the BitTorrent, but I think it wasn't working on me last time. Uh, I just clicked on the final, the BT2 final ISO. And then I get prompted with the bottom of this. You can go ahead and save it. I click save as just, you know, if I want to save it in a different directory. And just remember where you saved that save that file uh, I think last time I clicked BitTorrent and uh, page not found that's what I got so maybe you can find it out there in a BitTorrent if you're a slow downloader once you have that then go back to google.com I'm gonna type in GB uh, converter to megabytes um, let's see usually the first link is right on so I guess I got into this one, this one which should convert, let's see, we can go gigabytes, we can go 15, and click that bottom button I guess, and this is what we're actually going to use, we're going to use the megabytes. Okay, well that's the end of this segment, I'm sorry for not making you videos, but I've been kind of busy, and um, well... For the level of Linux, I'm going to show you how to install this Backtrack 2, fresh install, high definition, and whatnot. This is Cure My Mind saying, go screw yourself. I don't know if you do that, but if you do, then I guess, go screw yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you, you know, I'm always kidding. Uh, anyways, have a good one, YouTube. Um, next video will be how to install Backtrack 2 into a virtual machine. I'm pretty sure it'll work also on... Um, VMware, I'll take you step by steps, uh, instructions and everything with high resolution, telling you what I'm doing. Also, write it down on the bottom video of of the video description. You just click on the more info, and and then it'll it should show up. I'll, I'll I'll might add it to my um my website, so you can go ahead and click there if you want to ask more questions or whatnot. Because you know YouTube only allows uh, X amount of characters. I think it's like 200 characters or something like that, which isn't very many if you have a very long question. But we'll be installing Backtrack 2, and hope you YouTubers enjoy it. Um, that's pretty much all you'll need is this um, this BMB uh, GBTB converter or whatever. Just get, uh, you, all you really need to convert is the gigabytes to megabytes, because we're going to be using the megabytes and. Uh, well, when you make when you make the VMware or you're installing, you already know that you have certain X amount of, of gigabytes. So when you know the X amount of gigabytes, you can just convert that into megabytes because we're gonna we're gonna do some formatting, making partitions using the G CLI. So this is for more advanced users. Um, actually, more advanced users probably call this Kitty Play. So this is I think this is intermediate play. Um, for us Linux fans, so if you're new new to Linux, I would recommend first um, reading about what fdisk is, uh, the fdisk commands are, what partitioning is and stuff like that if you're new to Linux or new to any kind of computer systems. Um, go read up on that, partitioning, formatting and whatnot, which gives you a simple GUI on, you know, Windows and and I'm guessing Mac too, but when uh, Linux, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to go back to basics.
to let you know what actually the GUI is doing. So this is Kirma Line again saying, um, I'll try to make more videos for you guys as much as I can for high, and, and, and uh, videos with high resolution. Sorry for my speech. Um, just got off work. It's six, just about seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm making this video for you guys. All right. Well, I'll catch you guys later.